Let's have a look at Sum doing a back squat. Sum is track cyclist from the development team. So let's have a look. Okay, let's do it at slower speeds. Let's have a look. So the descent is fine. I think that position, crease of the hip is slightly lower than the knees. Okay, so that's okay. Good depth. In that repetition, we'll see it more in the next repetition. So let's have a look. So ideally, that weight should go down. Oops, what happened here? Ideally, the weight, if this is a straight line from the weight down, the bar should travel on that line. So now we can see what happens here. The bar moves forward. And also, even though that bottom position looks pretty good, but now you can see, let's look at the back angle and see what happens. So he raises the hip a little bit quicker than the shoulders, which leads to, let's take this line out again, oh, let's go back, so, I'm not fully aligned, so, but again, gives a good idea, so, now, going down is fine, that bottom position looks pretty good, but now we can see that the bar goes See how far it goes away from that line, and then he brings it back in. Yeah, so that really here we can see the distance from the midline to the bar. That makes it really difficult for him and also puts a bit of load on the lower back. So let's look at the second repetition, same thing. Now we can see it very clear. So See how the hip starts to rise earlier than the shoulders. So again, these lines should be parallel, but you can see the hip comes up a little bit faster than the shoulders. So, yeah, so the weight should stay aligned here. So that's, and now we see that the weight goes forward, forward and goes even further forward here. And then just up, oh, even then for the last one he has to take a step forward. Yeah. So for him, a good way to correct that would be front squats, because if you do front squats and you come up with the hip too quickly, you lose the weight forward, or overhead squat, which forces you to be more in line with the line of gravity.